Uh, so this was a, we had a content routing track about privacy. So this is where we explored the medium to long-term um, goal set around building uh, properly private uh, networks. And here we were focusing on the content routing part. So not just the, not, not the whole content, not, not the privacy model of a consumer trying to download uh, data, but just specifically how consumers find providers of data. Um, the big reason is that we think if we don't do this well, bad things will happen. So we want to avert some like really bad things from happening. We had had a ton of really useful talks from a, a number of folks, um, including um, so we had talks around um, high level definitions of the problem space and introductions to private content routing and why it matters. We had um, very concrete projects like private set intersection for BitSwap and something that we can build now and deploy it. Uh, we had the announcement of a new fund uh, to fund private retrieval. Um, and so there's a whole blue fund, blue network fund to uh, drive R&D for uh, research in, in, um, in private retrieval. This includes, um, yeah, th this includes everything in the R&D pipeline. So from early research all the way through building libraries and shipping things. Uh, we had discussions around mixed nets and content routing um, and, and also kind of uh, making oblivious routing systems. Uh, we talked about double hashing and DHTs and, and so uh, improvement proposals for DHTs to become more private. Um, we had discussions around use cases for privacy uh, across the stack. Uh, we had uh, an awesome uh, survey of different approaches uh, from a crypto primitives lens around private information retrieval and content routing. So thinking of specifically of the content routing problem, how can we use all of the existing techniques out there? Um, and then we had a number of discussions around, um, hey, what are the open problems? Um, what are projects that we wanna, wanna work on and so on? So there's a bunch of really important things that came out of, uh, out of this track and is yeah, really promising. So there's, we had a ton of learnings, primarily that we uh, first, it's extremely critical to do this, but it's very hard. Um, and we need to scale the community of practice working on this. Uh, so this includes yeah, everything from academic research to building things, to deploying things, to um, forming larger collaborations and so on. So there's a lot of effort that's gonna go into just booting that academic field. Um, however, there are some good short-term things we can do now. Um, and there's some very good candidate projects that we can, we can exp uh, explore. Um, it also uh, was brought up that in a few discussions that um, having the, the lib2p being different from the HTTP stack uh, prevents us from using a lot of the improvements that are happening in the HTTP world. Uh, so it's another point, data point that shows us that we should absorb HTTP into the IPFS stack um, and be able to like layer a lot of IPFS implementations just on top of, on top of uh, HTTP. So things like onion routing with HTTP and so on. Uh, so they're really good action items around evaluating um, some of the short-term projects and shipping them. So if, if establishing some <laughs> goals around performance constraints, but then once uh, we meet those, then, then shipping them. Um, and there's some good explorations in the short to midterm around mixed nets. Um, then there's like the whole booting of the academic field, which will take uh, longer and, uh, and have more effort, uh, require more effort, but uh, we think this is gonna be really valuable long-term. Um, and then we need to publicize the the private retrieval fund uh, in the maybe websites, docs, and so on. So here's some milestones. Uh, in, uh, in this next quarter, we think we need to do that pub uh, publicizing of the fund. We, and we should be able to have candidate roadmaps for PSI, BitSwap, and DH, DHC. Uh, this is double hashed, double uh, DHC, or DHCAD or something. Um, critical in that is like a performance evaluation to make sure that these new uh, constructions, um, like, come in to improve privacy without hurting performance. Um, the, we, we then want to kind of like form private retrieval as a project with communications and discussion places, so we need to do some project tooling around that. Um, we need to uh, then start defining open problems and posting RFPs um, and so on, and, and maybe do some, some publishing of blog posts and potential papers and so on. Um, and then we hope that in a year from now, we, we have something to show for it, um, not just in terms of projects started, but uh, an academic community grown, but in, in terms of actual improvements delivered to um, running IPFS systems. So we think that 
IPFS Private SE should be able to improve significantly by you know a year from now. So that means potentially might mean shipping um, PSI BitSwap or DHCHC or other things like that. Uh, great, that's it. Thank <laughs> you.